Kings presents The Legend of the Digidestined Digivon. It begins with the story of the first Digidestined and their final heroic battle. Followed by the tale of this season's Digidestined, leading up to the all-new one-hour season finale event. The conclusion of the battle for both worlds. It's an epic morning of Digimon. The Legend of the Digidestined Digivon. Next Saturday morning at 8 Eastern, 7 Central and Pacific on Fox Kids. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. So again, between parts, there was a bit of, bit of, um, farm usage, let's say. And by farm usage, I mean letting my game idle while I continually put them on two-hour training regimens. Uh, meaning we did get some more Digimon, actually. Number one, Shoutmon is actually ready to go. Uh, he can be max level 65 with 81 ABI. This dude is ready to turn into his evolution, which is super hype. Uh, we got Cressamon last time. So there's Cressamon. Pretty dope looking, if you ask me. That's a- that's a protagonist Digimon. Um, we also got, if we go through all our Digimon here, um... Uh, I got Growlmon. So there he is, although if I want him to Digivolve, I do have to basically uh, Digivolve him once and go back because he needs more ABI. Anyone who uh, who I really want to get needs eight lots of ABI, so there'll be lots of Digivolving, de Digivolving. Um, Air Dramon Digivolved into Wing Dramon. Look at this dude. He's kind of dope. I've never seen him before, but like he's he's pretty neato. He's just a big dragon dude with a weird spike on the top. Um, uh, Monochromon Digivolved into Triceramon. This is a classic Digimon. This is, this is so, like, old, like, I have stickers of him level. And this Digimon right here, I really want to get. You might look at that and say, yo, that looks cool. Yo, it is a cool Digimon. Um, Sunamon here. I'm actually going to have him Digivolve into Vmon when I get the chance. Because I really, I need, uh, I need the Vmon line going at this time. And that's about it for now. Also, I'm surprised his cam fell down. So let's let's get that cam back up, my dude. Eat. Eat. One thing I'm surprised about is I don't think um Oh wow, that's it. I don't think that actually um they throw away the food anymore. Because I was so like I remember in the first game they would bat away food and it'd be that would suck. But I don't think they do that anymore. So that's good. Alright, let's head on into the PC because we do have uh, one more one more thing to do. The disappearing elevator from Rico. The elevator Nikata goes to a weird place where girls disappear. Find my sister. Will this uh, team help find her? I've been on the Nikata elevator, but it was normal. Well, you're not a girl person who commented that. The client is waiting at the K Cafe. I'll see what they have to say. Zip zoom over there. Hey, it's these guys from the first game. I've been expecting you. Sorry to make you come all the way here. Welcome! Did you ask him to help with Rico's problem? Yeah, I'm sure he's the man for the job. This young lady is Rico, the client. It's my big sister. She's gone missing. Huh? I'll bring him up to speed. So what's happening? Have you heard the rumor about the elevator disappearances? Nope. I mean, aside from when you put it in my thing. It's more of an urban legend. It says people mysteriously disappear while riding an elevator to get take and get taken to other dimension. Okay. I don't know the details, but it's scary stuff. You two be careful when using elevators. All elevators. All of them, okay. You're worried about me? How kind. If you, uh, if you have to go if you have to go missing, please make sure you pay this month's wages first. Oh, so it's not me you're worried about. Ha ha ha. My sister's missing. Oh, we got a little off topic there. Sorry about that. The urban legend has been doing the rounds in Nakano for ages. Every school kid knows it. But it might be more than just an urban legend. It seems Rico's sister went missing right in this building. And it was after getting in an elevator. 
And that's why you always take the stairs. I know what you're thinking. This is a matter for police, not a hacker, am I right? We reported it, but Rico's sister is 16. The police says she probably just ran away from home and staying with a friend. They're not interested. Terrible, right? Yeah, that seems pretty irresponsible. They're wrong. She got in an elevator and then vanished. She must be in this building somewhere. I told them everything, but they didn't believe me. Even my parents said they'll probably come back sooner or later. Or she'll probably come back. They're not worried. Uh, they must really trust her. If I, if I didn't get home by the time my parents say, I'd be so grounded. I guess your parents didn't trust you. Isn't that normal for most parents to... If you weren't... On time? I don't know. Wish they stopped treating me like a kid. She says, dressed in gothic Lolita wear. Continue, Rico. I tried looking for her by myself, but I couldn't find her anywhere. I was really upset, but he said he'd help me. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. I tried asking with the police as well. They're, they've recorded her as a runaway, but they're not actually doing anything to look for her. Rico, tell him about when she went missing. Well, we came here together. After playing the capsule machine on the first floor, my sister said let's go to the arcade on the fourth floor so we got in the elevator. The elevator? Is that where she vanished? Did you actually see it happen? Um, well... Don't rush your letter, finish. And he'll be the one investigating, you'll be busy working here too. Uh, you're right, I got ahead of myself. Sorry Rico, what happened next? Oh, this we actually get a little cinematic, ooh. We took the elevator to the fourth floor but something wasn't right. The cafe's on the fourth floor. What was... Was there something unusual about this floor? Yeah, all the lights were off. It was pitch dark. Has there been a power outage lately? Not that I remember. What happened next? The corridor was completely dark, and that's not all. There was no one else there. It was scary. We had to look around. This was the only place with any lights on. You mean the K-Cafe? Yeah, we heard a dark dog barking inside. A dog in here? That's impossible. There was one. We got close to the door, a big black dog came out. Do you know anything about that? Have you been keeping a pet dog here? Of course not, you're here every day, you'd know. That's true. No, we haven't had any customers with the dog. I was scared, but my sister petted it, and then she went inside. I was about to follow her when the door closed. I pushed it as hard as I could, but it wouldn't open. I called out to her, but she didn't answer, and I couldn't hear the dog either. I was super scared, so I ran back to the elevator. I wanted to get to another floor and find a grown-up to help. Quick thinking. Nothing like my boss! He got lost as soon as he stepped outside this building and ended up calling me in tears. Satchan, let's not talk about that right now. When I got to the elevator, the door closed by itself and the lights in the elevator went out. I don't know what to do, but when the lights came back on and the door opened, then what? The lights in the corridor were on and there was lot people in the corridor and the stores. Lots of people. They weren't there a few seconds before. I ran to that ca the cafe. I thought my sister would come back. <coughs> Oh, why am I dying suddenly? Okay. But she didn't. Satchet and I were here as normal. We hadn't seen her sister or a dog. That's weird. How are we going to solve this? You don't believe me? Just like the police? No, of course I'll believe you. Let's do this. Thank you. You're so nice. I'm thinking of two possibilities. A mysterious disappearance related to the occult or an accident caused by an elevator malfunction. It's probably best to start with the most realistic one. All right, occult it is. The reason I hired Hootie is because, um, I need someone to investigate the elevator control system. Just between you and me, wouldn't it be terrifying if something- if it was something involving the occult? I use that elevator every day. I don't want to end up cursed or something. I wonder if the curse is only half as bad if two people get cursed at the same time. We can't ignore what happened to Rico's sister. If I do get cursed, I just hope you're there with me. Thanks? I guess? What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. How about we retrace Rico and her sister's steps? Okay, well, we're gonna start with the capsule machine. So we're going to the first floor and getting in the elevator. If the rumors are true, Rico's sister isn't the only person to disappear in mysterious circumstances. Let's do the exact same thing and see if we can find anything unusual with the elevator control system. I think it's a good place to start. How about you? Sure. Okay, let's do it. How are you going to? What about the cafe? I'll leave you in charge. I have to go to get to the bottom of this Nakano mystery. No, wait. I mean to save Rico's sister. Okay, I usually ask for double pay, but as it's for Rico's sister, I'll let you off this time. But, make sure you tell me as soon as you find something. I will. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's solve this mystery. Well, first off, she got a capsule. So let's get one. And we get... Waymon! With an exclamation mark. In the thing. Is this the elevator you took? Yep. Let's go in. You monitor the control system. Okay, cool. Let's head on in. 
seems normal. What did you do next, Rico? Uh, we pressed the fourth floor button. You know, four in Japan means death. You or your sister? I tried, but she... I tried to, but she did it. What do you mean? We need to recreate the exact same conditions. I wanted to press it, but I couldn't reach and accidentally pressed the second and third floor buttons. Then my sister canceled them. You can cancel them? It's possible... To cancel a button once it's been pressed. Different elevators have different ways of doing it. You cancel bus. Wait, what? That's crazy. Is that true? My sister's friend told her I'd do it. It's like a cheat code in a game. Interesting, isn't it? I would accidentally press the second and third floor buttons. My sister canceled them and pressed the fourth floor buttons. Do you remember the order she canceled them in? She did the second floor first. Okay, so press the third one, press the second one, then press second floor three times, and then third floor three times. Finally, fourth floor. What is this? This is a literal cheat code. Oh boy! Yep! This is what happened last time! Looks like it worked. The elevator's moving. It stopped. How's the elevator control system looking? An error? There's definitely something strange going on. We might have hit the jackpot. Jackpot? Oh, nothing. I wonder where we are. Proceed with caution. This is scary. I mean, it's not really, but... I mean, in-universe. The lights are on, but there's no one here. At first glance, it looks exactly like the fourth floor where we came from, but something about it doesn't feel quite right. It was pitch dark last time, but this feels like when my sister disappeared. I see. So you and your sister were exploring this floor when you encountered the dog at K-Cafe. Yeah, there was no one around, just like now. It was so scary. Don't worry, we're with you this time. Kaisuke, I'm intrigued to know what's going on in the K-Cafe, but let's investigate this floor first, just like Rico and her sister did. Yep. Let's go to the arcade and back. Come on, let's go. Big spooks. Hey, at least, at least line still works. Train's no fun, take me outside, one day. Seems Harajuku's is a hot spot for human girls, but it's good for shopping. You're interested in Japan? You? Nun Dante? A Tekken's still here. There's not a single person, just like when we came with my sister. All we could hear was the sound of our own footsteps. Can I play the arcade? Nope. It's so strange, this place is usually bustling with people, but now it's completely deserted. Big spooky. Looks like uh, exactly the same situation as when Rico came with her sister. Okay, scale let's head for the K-Cafe. Okay. Can we go to the other floors? Or are they like, oh, all the, all the stores are shuttered. Oh, that's a dog, maybe? Was that terrifying howl? It came from the K-Cafe. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Did you hear that? It's the dog. That's not a dog. That's not a dog at all. The door won't open. What's going on? Shall I smash it? Please do it. Oh, I was going to say, please... I thought I was going to say, please don't do it. It's, we'll have to pay for it, but step back, Rico. Door's the door. Let's solve this mystery. Hacker punch! Wow, we are strong, boy. Oh, what? Eek! What the? This isn't the K-Cafe. Cyberspace? How could we be in cyberspace without logging in? Let's keep going. We have to find Rico's sister. What? How? Huh? That's a terrifying noise. But there's an item here, so let's grab it. We've got a sand guard. When you need to stop the sand from getting in your way. You got an Alekmon and an Atamamon. Look how tall Crestamon is. Ultra long combo. Hey, because they got all three. There he goes. Let's see what Crestamon's win pose is going to be. I need the win poses for YouTube no, thumbnails. No. That's dope, actually. That's really dope. And level 6 already. Nice. Uh, let's look over here for another item, if possible. Uh, I don't see another item, but that's okay, because we can go up here. And then this way. What do we got? Hawkmon and Patamon. Look at all these main character Digimon that we're killing. I mean, uh... Restoring to their original data. Oh, here's the special.
That's really cinematic for, like, a non-fully Digivolved Digimon. Usually it's the Megas who get the ones that are that cinematic, but okay. Sure, man. Um, cool, let's head into the next area. Alright. Oh, hey! Uh, Sang Loopmon, if I'm correct. Uh, whose name literally means in French or Latin, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, Blood Wolfmon, which is way cooler, but no, Sang Loop is like, it's, it's a little more tasteful, a little more less on the nose. Alright, Shoutmon, show me your stuff. You have a lot of HP. Yeah, boy! And I gave him the crown because he wants to be the Digimon Emperor. That's our Digimon King, whatever. Either way. Also, yeah, Sistermon's level is max, so we gotta regress her right away. Um, that's his whole thing in the show. So, oh, farm development kit! Yes! I was gonna say, I definitely want something to make another farm, and lo and behold, here we go. Hey, man. Eek, what's that? My intruders, I can't get a moment's peace. It's a dog from last time, where's my sister? Let her go. Did you bring them here? If you insist on disturbing my sleep, I'll put you to sleep like the other human. Berg. Sleep tight, pupper. Sang Loopmon's pretty cool, though. He's the, uh, he's actually the, the, the canon digivolution of Drachmon, so... I'm gonna use an attack charge on me. Because he's a virus type, so of course, buffing the virus will be good. Let's see if we can put him to sleep. It used to be 100% for the sleep in the first game, and I'm very happy they kind of nerfed it a bit. Alright, he's gonna be sleepy boy. Vantheon, let's see this. Nice, good stuff. Good stuff. Um... 70 fire damage. Let's just do 70 regular damage. There you go. Lunatic Dance. Let's give it another shot. It's a cool attack. Almost wish you could turn off the HUD for some of these. But he's still sleepy. He, he uh, next turn, will wake up, though. And then we'll throw him back to sleep. Yo, real talk. Shout out to status ailments in every game. They kind of rock. Like, as a kid, it would always be, you know, why would I use status ailments? There's no point. Just use attacks. And now I'm like, no, no, no. If if they can be hit with a status ailment, you use it. One more. I think a regular hit should work. Yeah. Nice job, dudes. Got some more levels. Be nice if Shaoban could get more moves. He really doesn't have many. How could I lose? Where's this girl's sister? Did you eat her? Why would I eat a human? If you're talking about the intruder, she's asleep over there. She was so annoying I had to put her to sleep. Since you've defeated me, I'll let you take her. She's gonna wake up when she leaves. I see, you seem reasonable enough. Let me ask you something else. Did you create this floor? Why does it look exactly like the same as the R4 floor? Fourth floor? I don't know what that is. This place has always looked like this. I was originally in Eden, but suddenly found myself here one day. But this place isn't like Eden. I don't like it. I wanted a comfortable bed, so I modified this area to look like Eden. I did a good job, don't you think? So wasn't you who made this place look like the first floor? Hmm, I see. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought I'd be able to sleep here in peace, but humans keep barging in and disturbing me. This place doesn't belong to me? Hmm, so what should I do? Uh, I'll seal off this floor, yeah. Of course, but you should leave too. This is for your own good. For my own good? Nah, no, I really don't know what you're talking about. But I don't need you to tell me to leave. I can't get any peace here. I want to go. If I knew how to get out of here, I would have left by now. You could take me to Eden if I go into your terminal? That would be great. I want to go back to Eden for so long. I'll leave that to you. Oh, just one more thing. Another thing? Go on then. Sorry for disturbing your sleep. First you want to get rid of me, now you're apologizing. I can't figure you out. Anyone would be irritated at having their sleep disturbed. I know exactly how you feel. Hmm. You're a strange one. Okay, now get me out of here. He's pretty straight and to the point. 
Honestly, if they put in Sang Loopmon, they should have put in Darurumon because he's pretty similar, but cooler. He is a drill tail. Alright, I think we're done here. I don't know what will happen to uh, space now that he's gone. Let's get our sister back to the real K Cafe. Are we just going to ignore the fact that this is a digital version of the place? Or, I hope not. Did you get it back to Eden? Yep. That's good, her sister's resting inside. She should probably go to the hospital later, just to be on the safe side. Okay, I'll go with her when she wakes up. I'm still not exactly sure what happened. As far as I understand, Rico's sister straight into a strange place created by a dog-like monster, is that right? It's not that quite simple, how to explain it? There's a rumor that this building has a magical 3.5th floor. 3.5th floor, how do you say that? Shouldn't it be third and a half? Between the third and fourth floors. Huh? I've always taken the stairs, I've never seen anything like that. That's what makes it so strange, sometimes there, sometimes not. What do you mean? There's lots of urban legends about places that look like the real thing but are slightly different. According to these stories, these places sometimes exist and sometimes do not. If someone inadvertently enters such a place, well, it exists, what do you think will happen to them when it disappears? They vanish. Exactly. There have uh, been tales of such strange phenomena in Nakano for a long time. The 3.5th floor legend also started in Nakano. That strange creature, is that the right word? That dog-like monster, as Sachan put it. it. Must have inadvertently strayed into the 3.5th floor while it was temporarily accessible. While it was unable to leave, it changed the K-Cafe area into a bed where it felt comfortable. But then Rico and her sister unintentionally found themselves on the 3.5th floor. When her sister entered its bed, it got irritated and put her to sleep. That's how she went missing. So Rico's sister and that dog might have disappeared if they stayed there. It's possible. Luckily, we made it in time. Does Rico just always speak in the third person? But why help that dog-like monster? He never meant any harm. He just put her to sleep. It didn't hurt anyone. It was just another victim of the 3.5th floor. There was no reason to help Rico's sister and not help it. Would you come rescue me if I got trapped on the 3.5th floor? Huh, that would never happen. Seriously? You'd help that dog monster thing but not me? <laughs> I'm so hurt, you should pay me compensation for pain and suffering. I didn't mean that, it came out wrong. It's impossible to get to the 3.5th floor now. That's what I wanted to say. What do you mean? Kaisuke looked into it for me. There was an error with the control system when you press the buttons in a certain order. It sent a signal that was never meant to be sent. That's right, isn't it? Yeah? I suspect it's that the abnormal signal that caused the 3.5th floor to appear. You are incredibly intelligent about this. Why are you working at a cafe, my dude? Rico and her sister just happened to press the exact sequence of buttons deciding the signal. So I would end up on the 3.5th floor if I press the same buttons? Don't worry. Kaisuke has fixed the elevator control system so it won't happen again. He's an excellent hacker. Can I just get paid now? That's a relief. Luckily, I luckily I won't need to pay any compensation now. But this isn't over yet. What was that 3.5th floor? Why did it look exactly like the 4th floor? How could humans and a dog-like monster from Eden get trapped there? And why was that monster able to change the space? I just don't get it! The world is full of mysteries, Sachan. That doesn't explain anything. It's not a good enough. We should be, uh, we should just be glad that Rico's sister is safe and well. And I'm tired. All I want to do now is sleep. Thank you all for rescuing my sister. No need to thank us. My boss only got involved to satisfy his curiosity. She's right. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Including that dog thing. Where am I, Rico? Oh, she's awake. I'm coming, sis. I think I'll just try and forget about this 3.5th floor stuff now. Really? How can you leave so many questions unanswered? I don't care about that. I know basically what, would ha what happened. I don't think anyone will know the full truth about the 3.5th floor. Although, I wouldn't be adverse to investigating similar phenomenon if the opportunity ever arises. I think Mystery 2 makes Mikano a much more interesting place. I agree. That's the reason why I work here. Despite the low pay. She's always, yeah, it's always with the pay. I mean, to be fair, you need to get paid to live. Money's, money is important. Anyone who says otherwise doesn't know hello. This is a... Eerie... Look. Okay... Sure, okay, that was a scene, I guess. 
Well, uh, not before we actually do uh, report back. I do want to do a bit of work here because uh, we have to now de digivolve um, Sistermon. Because if we want to digivolve to her strong form, she needs 50 ABI. Now that we've maxed out her level, when we regress, she will go back to being, uh, she'll get 10 whole ABI. So this Tokemon will get 10 of it. Uh, and yep, so he'll go there. And as such, because it's Tokemon, I'm not going to really be using him. Uh, we'll throw him. I was going to say into the farm island, but wait. Better yet, we can add the island. Another island. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank goodness. This will make my life a million times easier. Complete! And these guys, uh, farm goods, we'll give them the treadmill. Because I, I put the, the fire symbol in the other one, because lots of fire Digimon. They're, they're very popular. So, Toko, you can go into Farm Island 2. As for what Digimon we're going to throw in our party now... Um... Let's see here. Who... Who has a form that I actually want to try and get right away? Let's see here. Yeah, there's nothing really for Agumon. Kind of want to get Korjumon Black, but he's really close to getting it. He just needs levels, so that's not going to take a lot of time. Uh, you know what? Let's put the Sunamon in our party. Or wait, he can Digivolve now, so we can get um, Vmon, so that'll work. Yeah, Vmon! There we go, we got Vmon, and then we need Cam 100% X Vmon, right? Cam 25%, well... That's fine, we can do... Uh, if he needs Cam, it's probably better to just put him into the... Into the... Well, he's in the farm island. Uh, let's... Okay, so let's, let's start putting these dudes into here. Wait, did we get any new Digiconverts? Nope. It's a farm island too. Let's get start from the bottom. Get these these young young guns into here. Whoops. Oh man, I'm so happy to have another farm. It makes my life so much easier. Stingmon, I do want him to level up. Raptor Jermon. Chumon. And yeah, we'll throw Omnimon in there for now. As for my party, I think this is about all we can throw in here for now. And that's okay. I mean, unless we take Tokomon with us, which will give faster levels. Okay, we'll keep Tokomon in our party for now, just, just for the level ups. And then the Farm Island will throw in, uh... Throw in Crusadermon. There we go. Get them some levels, even though I'm pretty much never going to use them. Command, train, full time. And I might as well sync these up by resetting this one. It doesn't reset their actual training abilities, but it does, uh, does do that. Okay, so you need some more meat, my dude. I got some good meat, don't I? Major cam up? Yes, yeah, so let's go. Give you some of this excite- Oh, he does throw it away at a point. Dang, dang it. Okay, that's fine. Can you take the- Okay, you know, I'll give you that one. There you go, you're at 76%, meaning you should be good for later. Okay. Alright, well then in that case, uh, maybe I will take, uh, Vmon. There we go. Because he needs to get to... Because that'll, that'll put his camp down unless he's in here, so there we go. Cool beans! Let's get a reward now. That's the big important thing, of course. And, uh, I should probably start investigating new, um... New Digimon, new new cases pretty soon. We got a friendship. Oh, that'll be perfect to just get Vimon's cam maxed. Oh, this transmission number is, is it K? Yep. Let's maybe not use the phrase manhunt. I mean, I guess, but it doesn't sound good. I think you're playing me, sir. How exactly do you select the target? Yeah. Wait, I think I know who you are. Shoot.
I'm gonna say this is errata. Sounds good, man. Tomorrow, huh? I don't know what will happen. I better plan accordingly. Okay. Well, it is now tomorrow. It's time. I'll go to the open space. Uh, I actually want to do a bit of, bit of shopping first. I'm going to head out, get some items, because I haven't really gone to Nakano uh, yet for shopping, per se. Uh, so I need to head this way. So I want to see if I can get some stat up stuff and uh, all that stuff. Some some patches. I'm gonna definitely need some more patches for uh, getting my my characters to be the right the right type. Um. So let's head to. We can now go to the central hospital. Not that we really want to, but that's okay. Do you sell anything new yet? Uh, just the same old, same old. I at one point found some A rank items apparently and was surprised. Don't you? Aren't you normally a shop? Okay. Um, let's see here. I forget where, where the best shops were. Let's head up to the metal man. Wonder if you can get back to the, the floor by typing in another secret code there. Sell my metals. Sounds good. I know I didn't give you much, but I'll take it. It's less for the money and more for the actual usage. You know what? We haven't done the, um, the championship here. I think we should. I think now I think now's a good time to get this out of the way. Uh, first off, though, let's use that that friendship we got. Friendship increases cam by ten. There you go. So you're, you're pretty much close to being there. Okay. Yeah, we'll fight in the Coliseum. Bronze Cup. Let's do this. It's gonna be real easy. I ain't worried. Young at heart, girl. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll just rush. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna attack even. Yeah, there we go. We got this. Alright. Round two. Let's go. Oh, those levels. 14, 7 heavy strike. Nice. Nice job. Uh-oh. We got more babies. Oh, cross chain for the regular attack, which again you don't see much. It's nice though. That one just does just consistent damage, so I'll definitely take that one. Did you still get a surprising amount of HP or experience? Why did I say HP? This guy's in a crappy mood. Well, uh, do we have the one to all foes? Let's see how much we can do to all foes. That's actually not the best. Do you have one for all foes? Not yet. Okay, well. Might as well do a, a, a super attack with you to ensure a, ensure a death. Ensure deletion. Oh, that's cool seeing these together. That's such a long animation, though. Fiery fastball, how much that does. Ah, decent damage. These guys are gonna try to hurt me. Note the word try. Yeah, right? Boom, that didn't hurt me at all. He's, they're, they're trying. Not really working, but they're trying. Is Sunamon virus? No, I'm surprised. It, not Sunamon, but um, Sumemon. I'm surprised Sumemon is actually not a uh, virus type. He so clearly looks like one, but I guess it's not because it's stereotyping. I don't know. Maybe it's because he has the potential for good still. He's a baby. Babies aren't born with sin, apparently, according to some people. Ocean Wave 1. Yeah, let's throw that on. Because uh, Ice Archery 1 is good, but I want to try Ocean Wave 1 because I want to get... I need some attack for all of them. Wind Claw. Yep. Alright, we got some Yokomon and uh, uh, Tom Tanemon. Sometimes it's hard to remember their names. I'm just gonna rush it. We got this. What are we gonna do? Yeah, you're done. Power Energy 2. Yeah, I don't think you'll survive that. Oh, maybe you will! 
I love how it just takes out a little tongue and it's so big to knock over someone who's like three Okay, I was gonna say three times. No, no, I'm gonna say about if you're going by heads about 20 times as tall Nice Oh final battle versus baby Drachmon uh oh, he's doing something. Wait, so if he's, uh. Oh, we don't have a virus type, but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna buff Cressamon then. Whoa, cross up skill. I wonder what that does. Is that just. I think it increases the amount of turns it goes up, not, not so much anything else. This should probably kill him because it's a weakness. Almost, but he's panicked, which is nice. Nice to get status ailments out. Always worth it. We did it. Easy peasy. No big problem. Level 18. I think it's 25 to digivolve him. Possum! Now it's the next challenge. Choose your prize. We got a Brave Point E. That's just a uh, thousand experience, if I'm correct. 25. You know what? Let's throw that onto you. You're level 20 now. Very nice. Good job. I still have one of my, my huge Brave Point A's, so let's go for the Silver Cup right now. We got this. Because we, we got dudes way stronger. I, I guess we don't um, get scan percentage for these guys. Mostly because I think you could have um, replayed these fights and then get, get some of them really easily. So I guess that's why they don't do it anymore. Which makes sense, because I remember uh, you could get some pretty... Like, if, even if you kept losing this, you would still get the scan percentage, so you would want to do it so you could get some of these really, uh, powerful Digimon early. I remember, um, um, what was the one? Uh, the, the, not, not Infermon and not Kurosarimon, but the first form. I remember to get that, it was a big deal. You would try and do that. Oh no, just for the first match you don't scan, I guess. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Ow, a feather. These guys definitely have more attack, but... Yeah, let's just do this heavy strike. Give you the big hit. You know, you should have done that on the we one you have a weakness of, but I guess that's what I get for just pressing rush, so... Are you sure you want to mentally charge? There's a lot more you can do. A lot more that's actually powerful and would affect me for later rounds. Yeah, I'll take all these levels because it means you um, heal up, which is nice. That's the best part about levels in this game, is the fact that you you heal up. Hey, what's that? You're making fun of me because I'm old. I'm not, but okay, man. I thought that was Boom Blast, but okay. Just a big chunk of metal. Uh, any weakness for either of these doesn't look like it, so then we'll, we'll throw it on, press them on. Uh, let's see here, yeah, I'll just use Lunatic Dance on probably you. I want that confusion. Oh, I, okay, I get it, because Lunatic, Luna means moon. And then lunacy, it comes from the moon. Okay, that's actually, that's on multiple layers of smartness. I love it. Use Vantheon on you. That did nothing. Please attack yourself or your partner. That's not either. Zubigermon, you're actually taking big damage. See if we can confuse you two. Yeah, that's like really smart how, how it connects to to the moon. I'm pretty sure Kingdom Hearts actually made the exact same joke, which is hilarious. Because they had a character who was associated with the moon, and he had he had an attack called Lunatic Dance, which I think is actually in multiple um, Final Fantasies and stuff. But uh, yeah, oh, I should use Heavy Strike too, but that's fine. Uh, and it, it confuses, which now makes a lot more sense. Okay, dude, really? This is power energy. There we go. Can we get Zuby to level up? Because he's kind of... There we go. Perfect. I was going to say, he needs all of his stats back up. And it looks like we can get XV Mon now. But that's fine. We'll, we'll level him up a bit more. Ice Archery 1. Did no damage. 
Oh, hey, they're all viruses, which means they're gonna be real easy to get rid of for Zuba Eagermon. Well, almost. I'll use Lunatic Dance on you, because I want to confuse you, because you're the one that looks the most scary, and by scary, I mean it's not a big deal, but I just want to confuse you. Nope. Maybe for if it's weak, it doesn't it doesn't actually work. Then again, it is still a percentage, so... Alright. Yeah, you can get rid of uh, this dude. Just Vulcan Napalm. Yeah, there you go. No need to use anything more powerful. Give the big chomp. Alright, next. Uh, we'll use Vantheon on you. Dunzo. I'll try another Lunatic Dance. We'll see if you can even possibly use status ailments if it's the weakness. Or, or the, the, like, it's, it's not we It's not strong against him. It doesn't almost seem like it. Interesting. Let's just try Shock. You a shock! It did not work. Goblin Punch. Very famous Final Fantasy move. Except it's Goblin Strike here. And he uses a little fireball. Alright. Oh, we got one more match, it looks like. I thought this was the last one. Hydra Water 2. I should have probably put that on, but that's okay. Oh, Renamon! Everyone's favorite furry. It's not mine. Not mine at all. Yeah, I definitely need a virus going forward, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go attack, charge, crest some on again. Because that, that I think, is, is uh, su such a priority in which it will not, um... Like, I can do in another attack, which is nice, because it's not a... It's not a move that takes up a move as much. No confusion, okay. I'm surprised Renamon is grass type. It's very, very interesting for the elemental choice. Let's see if this will kill. Nope. Just don't hit Zuba Eagermon and we're good. Uh, okay, no, this is still not enough damage. Please, no poison, Areno. Thank you for that. I was really worried about that. Uh, let's finish you off, hopefully. Renamon's the one I worry about the most. Even though they're, like, pretty much the same level, Renamon just... By sake of being more human-like, because the, the more human-like your Digimon gets, the more powerful it is. So, you know, these plant dudes, no biggie, but then you get to, like, you know, anything that looks human, and you're like, well, that's a strong Digimon, which says something about the series. Yeah, the ultimate forms of these digital programs are the ones that are the most, you know, human-like. Like, like, even... Like, there's a few that get really big and beastly, but for the most part, they get more human as they digivolve with, you know, more also guns and leather pants, but still. Like, look, 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 look at Cressamon, even, you know? And its final form, Dianamon, just looks like a person in cosplay. Which is, I like. I know some people don't. 37, 27, 39, 29. Final battle. Whoa, Hackmon and Zubamon. Look at this person. Come on, rare lineup. Come on, don't you think I at least deserve some credit for the spectacle? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, these are really good Digimon. Just a shame that, um, you know. I think Hackmon is a lot easier to get in this one, though, at least, because he's not pretty much. Because I'm surprised they added in more Digimon aside from, um, uh, Jismon that he could turn into, so. Let's start with this. Ah, man, when Jismon appeared in Digimon Try, oh, that was hype. Oh, Jismon is so cool. He sh doesn't deserve to be as cool as he is, honestly. He's Jesus as a Digimon with stands. It's so good. I'm actually really enjoying Try. I know some people look at it and they're like, like, number one, I know you can watch it in theaters, but I would not watch it in theaters. It is very slow. It's like a show. It's not like a movie. Um, there's way less action than a lot of people like, but honestly, my favorite part of Digimon is the humans. And like, so when I'm watching it, I don't even mind that it's just a lot of the, like, the human drama and stuff. I like that! 
That's like when, when, when people hate on these Star Wars prequels. I'm like, I actually like the politics. You know, I like the human aspect, the character interactions. That's that's what I enjoy. I don't need big dumb action. Even though I, I like big dumb action too, but I don't need it. So, I've been enjoying Try. I'm excited to see its conclusion. Hopefully it ends on a good note. As where it is right now, it's in a place where you're like, well, this seems bad. Good job. Got the next, uh, what do we get? We got a Brain Point D. Nice. I'm going to take that, actually. Because, honestly, I might... Braypoint D is 5,000 experience. I was just thinking, if I use Braypoint A on Shoutmon, we could almost Digivolve into Omega Shoutmon pretty pretty instantly. Let's do it. He's getting there. My boy. He's getting up there. That didn't even level him up once. What are you at for your stuff, dude? Okay, let's, let's, let's actually go into the uh, PC here and check it out. Go to Digilab. I like this shortcut. Um... So let's see here. So he has the attack. He still needs to work on that defense quite a bit and that speed. So I hope he can get to it by 65. Sure hope so. Um, so you can turn into X Vmon here. I want to know what this guy is though. Well, we'll look at him later. Um, for now, yeah, we need X Vmon for sure. Here we go. Yeah, XVMon, but we did your party succeeded. Oh dang. Um So now that we got XVMon. So now let's see here. So Stingmon though is what level to get this guy? Level 30. So he just needs to be level 30 at this point and get Cam 100 percent So again, we will we'll buy some good meat and give it to him. Um I wanna get that dude for sure. I think that's Dino Beamon, who's pretty cool, so. Like, it's the only way I could see it go for, like, the other thing we get is, we, it's, it's, if I don't like it, we'll switch them out for Paledramon, which is pretty similar. But Dino Beamon's cool, so, um, so let's get them in the, in the farm together then. X Vmon, throw you into the farm. Uh, instead we'll get, let's see, who can we get on our team instead? Um, I do want a virus, honestly. At this point, I need one. Well, don't have too much of a choice. Can I digi-convert? None of these are what I want, but okay. Let's, let's, let's maybe look for a digivolution that we can do to get a virus. Let's see here. Is there anyone can digivolve? Anyone? You can go back to Sister Mon Blanc, which is probably the best bet, because we don't want you to be... We don't want you to, to wait around too much. Um, sure, we'll go back to Digimon, uh, Mont Blanc. Yeah, I know, I'm still exceeding the memory, that's okay. So how much do you have now? You have 22, so you're gonna have to basically, again, get you up to, get you up pretty high in level, then de-digivolve you again. Maybe throw Dizzy back on our team? He was pretty dope, but, uh, we'll have to see. You know, Growlmon, we need him. I like Growlmon a lot, so... Uh, but that's still not enough. Uh, let's just throw him in Digibank. Let's see here. Who can we get? I really don't have much choice here. Well, dang. Um, I guess for now we'll just keep these three. It's not like we're using anyone else, but... It'd be nice if we get one more. So XVmon, go into the farm island, uh, switch out Crusadermon. How much? Six. Yes, yeah, six memory. We can't use that. Um, Stingmon, you work together with him. Get big buff boys. Let's get some good meat, though. Get this this good meat. Yeah, we'll, we'll get nine of it. It's not like, honestly, at this point, there's nothing else to spend money on, so. Okay, go into here. Okay, so you need just regular meat, because you're at 86, right? So, ah, uh, well, I gave you one ex one good meat. No, take it. Take it! There you go, you're at 100%. So now for you, we're going to give you as much exciting meat as you will take. Come on, take it. Take it! No, you fool. You got rid of half my money. I should have saved and made sure you took it all, but that's okay. Um, I get more money. That's not a big problem. Uh, but yes, I sure hope Shoutmon has the- wait, I can check, can I? Uh, settings. 
There's a way to check, I'm pretty sure. Which I think if I go to my field guide here. So we need Shaman's way at the bottom because he's technically a non-classified Digimon. Um, so to Digivolve, we need... So let's see here. So the speed up will only get to 120 at about all oh, level 83. Are you serious? Well, that I think that's with base ABI though. We have extended ABI, so we get bonus stats. Oh, uh, let's hope the ABI works and we get there in time. Otherwise, I'll have to regress him again and get him back up there again. But that's okay. Cool. I. Well, all right, guys. Uh, in that note, can I? Can I wait? Can I walk into? Wait, no, next one. Can I go see her? Or is it like, no need for it? Dang, can I not even, I can't even go in there. That's so weird. It's like, you can't even go there. But it, it's interesting. Okay, um, we'll head back to our main base of operations, because that's kind of the best place to go. That was a weird camera flash, but okay. Um... And then, yeah, we'll see you guys next time for some more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. We're going to go meet up with the person who we need to do with, but I don't know who they are, so it'll be interesting. So we'll see you next time for some more, guys. Ciao!